Hey guys, welcome back to today's video where we're going to be discussing one of your best free options for real-time protection on your Windows PC. This is going to be an innate application that's going to be on your Windows 10 PC or even your Windows 8 or Windows 7 PC. You should have this application as well. It's called Windows Defender. It's completely free and it's going to give you that real-time protection. Many people pay for some of these different real-time protection services. I don't recommend that because there are very solid free options out there and it's already built right into your PC so why pay for something that you can get completely free so on your Windows PC you're gonna to wanna to look for that Windows Defender you can see I have it already on my taskbar but if you want to get Windows Defender on your taskbar so that you can have a quick access to it go over to your little Cortana search circle here and right next to this little magnifying glass that's gonna be your search area just start typing in Windows Defender and it should pop up here um, hover over with your mouse and right click and you can go ahead and pin it to your taskbar with this little option here once you click pin to taskbar the icon should show up somewhere along your taskbar if you have a lot of icons on your taskbar um, you might have to uh, scroll down or something to find it but uh, you can see that it's right here so I'm gonna click on that and bring it up into the screen here you can see that I have this green check mark. That's going to be what you're looking for, which means your PC status is currently protected. I have real time protection on, and all of the virus spyware definitions are currently up to date, which is good. You can do a scan whenever you want a quick scan, a full scan, or customize it just by clicking this button here. Um, you don't need to do that necessarily, though, at any particular time because Windows Defender is always going to be protecting your PC once you have it turned on for real-time protection. The Update tab, it's just going to show you um, if your current version of Windows Defender is up to date and when it was last updated. Uh, and then your History is going to allow you to check out quarantined items, allowable items, um, and things such as that. You can view the details of those items if you're interested in doing that. Uh, we'll go over to the settings now. In this settings screen, uh, you are going to have the option to turn on or off real-time protection. I recommend keeping that turned on so that your PC is always trying to protect you no matter what you're doing. Uh, also keep on that cloud-based protection. Um, and then sample submission, having it on for automatic sample submission is a good idea. It's going to allow Windows Defender to send samples of sp uh, suspicious files to Microsoft to help them improve malware detection. So the more people that have this turned on, the better the service is going to be for everyone at the end of the day. You can set up specific exclusions if you're having an issue where something you've downloaded or a program is getting flagged by Windows Defender, but you know that it's safe, you can set a exclusion by clicking this add an exclusion option and go through uh, those particular steps if you're having trouble in that scenario. Probably not something most people are going to run into, however. Enhanced notifications. Um, this is just something you can turn on or off to get notifications um, of what Windows Defender, uh, like the health of your PC and things such as that. I have it on. You don't necessarily have it on. need to have it on. And then Windows Defender Offline. This is going to be convenient if you... Uh, a lot of us have probably run into that situation where you get a virus or something that makes it so you can't get on the Internet. And uh, so some malicious software can be particularly difficult to remove Windows Defender Offline can help you find and remove things using up-to-date threat definitions. This will restart your PC and take about 15 minutes. So if you want to scan your computer without being connected to the internet, say you're in safe mode or something like that on your PC, then this is going to be a scan option that you can use for that. But that's pretty much it, guys. It's a pretty self-explanatory, easy-to-use, real-time PC protection. It's absolutely free, which is great. Um, if you're currently paying for uh, some kind of defender for your PC, I recommend getting rid of it as soon as possible, maybe getting a refund because there's free options that you can use that are just as if not more effective overall, and it's just built right into your Windows PC for you. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Again, it's called Windows Defender. I recommend you have it right on your taskbar so it's easy to access whenever you want to get uh, up to date on whether your PC is protected or not. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. So thanks for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.